Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So let's have an update on the Bitcoin price, uh, we are still moving sideways here, so we have just a very quiet Monday morning right now, after also a very quiet weekend, we have the CMEs uh, opening again, there is no future gap, so uh, no new future gap was created during the weekend also the US dollar index is still moving sideways more pointing to the downside so also here I'm expecting maybe a next couple of hours some sideways moving but definitely we're gonna have a breakout here from this potential ascending triangle in the Bitcoin price in the next couple of days and within this week so watch out guys for this breakout if you're not in a trade right now then make sure that you're ready to trade it once we're gonna break here to the upside or if we're gonna lose the support we're gonna break out to the downside then take the short or long opportunity because the next big move is about to come even in the altcoins currently we are seeing everything slowing down a little bit even the chain link and band protocol uh, of course they're still pumping but also here you see that they're cooling off a bit and also here we are preparing for the next move which most likely will come um, in the bullish way so we're gonna see here a possible continuation of the trend and uh, of course no one can predict where it's gonna end but we can estimate more or less where maybe we're gonna top out before we're gonna see a major correction possibly down towards 10k in bitcoin and also in some altcoins we're gonna most likely retest old big resistance which right now are new supports even on ethereum i'm expecting to see maybe 300 dollars again so be sure that you're ready in case that we're gonna have a potential correction because in my opinion it will be just short lived and you should try to catch the dip and try to buy the bottom instead of go and panic sell or do anything like that and remember if you want to buy all kinds of altcoins Binance is the exchange for you if you need a Binance account where you can buy all the old coins that you want then you find the sign up link down below here in the video description with my link you can get 10% off the fees while you're trading or buying alts so make sure that you use my link that you find down below here for Binance and there are also some other coins where you don't find on Binance when they're very low market cap then you mostly find them over on KuCoin so on the KuCoin exchange also you find my sign up link down below here with my link you can get some rewards as well and now let's start here quickly in the lower time frames then we go over to the bigger time frames there there is not much that uh, changed now during the last couple of hours we are still trading along the moving averages here between the 2050 and 200 in the one hour the RSI is above the 50 level here so in the one hour there is not much to see currently of course we have some bullish signs we had here a cross in the MACD stochastic is shifted to the upside we are trading in the upper area in the Bollinger Band so the one hour of course is still looking better very bullish even here the four hour as you can see we're trading along the 20 moving average which is a very bullish sign we have the RSI bouncing from the 50 level this is what we want to see during an uptrend and also if you have a look here into the Bollinger Band you can see that we also here are trading in the upper area we have stochastic which is cooling off here MACD is also quite flat here so we're really just waiting here for the next big move so we are right at the end and I'm expecting a possible breakout in the next couple of days latest end of this week but most likely it's gonna happen before and if we have a look into the daily time frame here you can see that also we are respecting the 20 daily moving average so far even if we will break down to the downside watch out here for $11,400 if we are having a close below $11,400 so if we're gonna close one single daily candle below and maybe even confirm that then the 20 daily is acting as a resistance then this is a huge warning sign because then we could be in for a major correction down to those levels here again between 10 to 9,000 dollars so watch out for this move if it happens and this is a huge big warning sign but as long as we're trading above the 20 daily moving average the trend is to the upside and as you know the trend is your friend till the end and the end in my opinion will not come earlier than 14 maybe even 16 thousand dollar before we're gonna have a big correction to the downside and then start the next parabolic phase which will also take out these highs and also the all-time high of 20 
k here on bitcoin which will mean that on some altcoins especially the ones that already now are performing very well keep that in mind and try to get into very cheap if we are getting a bigger correction because in my opinion they will also outperform bitcoin especially the coins from the DeFi space and also some of the top coiners even xrp i think there is a very high chance that here also we will see a potential breakout to the upside and we will of course most likely also a bit outperform bitcoin but there are way other altcoins as well that will outperform bitcoin way way more and don't forget sooner or later you will need to take profits into bitcoin from those altcoins because as i told you those altcoins are good to do swing trades and keep them as long as everything is pumping but as soon as the trend is reversing those altcoins will drop even more than bitcoin so if you want to lose more money then you're just gonna hodl all these alts forever but once you are in big profits and you see that the trend is reversing then make sure that you're taking out profits into bitcoin or in a stable coin so that later on you can rebuy cheaper and also your losses will not be that huge because remember if you were in the space also in 2016-17 when we topped out at 20 k in bitcoin the alts crashed almost more than 90 percent on every coin and you definitely don't want to take such kind of losses so make always sure also to not be too greedy take a little bit of profits out and you should be doing fine and now let's go over to the bollinger band also in the daily time frame because here currently we're testing again the first moving average here in theory we could go easily up to test twelve thousand one hundred dollar again and as i told you if we're going up again to those levels i think this will be the time that we most likely gonna break it to the upside we have the stochastic now also shifted to the upside macd still shifted to the downside after the bearish cross this is still what is concerning me but if we're gonna have a massive pump here towards 14k then also here the macd of course will have another bullish cross but at the moment it looks like that we could be in here still for a major correction hopefully not below eleven thousand five hundred dollar because that would signal that most likely we're going to go down towards 10k before we're gearing up again towards 12 14 and sixteen thousand dollar and we can also have another look here into the weekly time frame because as you can see after these weeks close yesterday the 20 moving average came up here at $9,800 so this is very bullish that the 20 weekly moving average is moving that fast to the upside because if bitcoin is going to have a major correction this is the price level which is recommended to buy in and also where usually bitcoin comes down to test it and then bounce again to the upside we have also the rsi still quite over bought and if we have a look here into the bollinger band also here you can see that we are looking still toppy here a correction down to the first moving average here ten thousand three hundred dollar even down here towards nine thousand five hundred is very likely to come right now also because we have the cme gap down there if we're not going down to close this cme gap right now and also retest here the moving averages of the bollinger band then most likely we're gonna see this huge correction later on and then maybe it's gonna just end up in a big week or something like this and currently we also have stochastic and macd which are looking a bit toppy so as i told you it is still possible that we're gonna go down to retest those levels before we continue to break 12 and 14 thousand dollar even though we are in a very bullish pattern right now if you go into the lower time frames and that's why just be prepared for all scenarios no one can really tell you where we're gonna break out we just have to wait where we're gonna definitely break out and then take the trade and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget today is gonna be the new 10 dollars worth of bitcoin giveaway subscription video so tune in later here subscribe here to the channel if you have twitch or discord you find also my links to my other channels down below here in the video description and also if you still need an account for example on bybit femex or bityard where you can trade bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage down below here you find also the sign up links where you can get some rewards and also of course you support the channels so thank you very much for watching my friends moon up the likes subscribe here to the channel tick the little bell and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye